Smith, congratulations, fantastic victory in the first against Braintree since 2010. It's a, it's a very special team effort today, wasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy when you say something like that, that you, you know, we haven't it's taken all that time to get a result here, but um, I thought the boys showed intent right from the first minute, you know, obviously to get the goal as well, you know, he put you on the front foot and um, it's, it's, it's a satisfying win, you know, it's been a long time coming, a win here and, um, you know, I think the boys probably deserved it. Um, standout players, it's, it's hard to pick and with such a fantastic team effort, but Luke calls in today two assists and one goal. Yeah, he took his goal brilliantly, you know, but I've just said in there, I thought Frankie Raymond was outstanding, I thought Rico um, showed glimpses of, of what he can do, and I thought George never stops running, got his goal early on as well, so it cooled him down. And then Hoops, I thought the front four were outstanding with the two behind them as well. You know, I could go through the whole team in the first half. I thought we were, we were very good value for money and, sh and should have probably had another one. Um, but then you come out at half time and you're just like, don't be sloppy, keep it going. Hoops goes through, should have probably scored. That kills the game, although it's 3 0, that kills the game and the momentum. But then obviously, when they get the goal, there is that little five or ten minutes of a little bit of panic stations. But um, I think we composed ourselves and then uh, sort the game out, really. I don't think anything could have been done again uh, about going to second goal. Very special. I was standing behind it, as soon as he hit it, it was, it was going in the top corner and it was a great goal. But um, I thought Frankie Raymond's was outstanding today, and I think he finally deserved that goal after the way he played today. Very special, um, well, sorry, very tough couple of games coming up. Uh, first of Salford next week. Uh, the team well prepared? Yeah, they're going to, you know, we're obviously nice to go there with a win under our belt after they're not, not winning in the league for a little while. Um, but I've also got players coming back from injuries. So we should have a full, full squad to choose from next week. So it's going to be competitive to get in the side and then hopefully to stay in there. That's it. And uh, obviously, George Portal coming off to make way for Denon Lewis. Um, obviously, he took a knock at Harrogate, didn't he? Was that just precaution? Just yeah, he's, 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 not, he's not trained much. You wouldn't have thought that today after the way he performed today. But, um, you know, it's one of them where I, I didn't have to chance him. You know, I took, I took him off. Brendan had been suffering with a little chest infection as well. Got through the 45 minutes and I thought it was brilliant today. I thought he really showed, you know, what he could, what he could be. Um, so hopefully everyone's fit and raring for next week's training. Obviously looking forward to a fantastic uh, day out at Salford. Brilliant. I know we always, always like to end on a high with the fans, but uh, incredible effort, especially as there was rail strikes and uh, rail delays. And not yeah, I know. Go. I heard about it this morning. And then to see so many behind that goal was uh, brilliant. And, you know, when, when you know they take that time, you want to give them something to go home with because they've got that travel on the way back. And it should be a happier one, you know, as, as you said, since 2010 we haven't won here. So... They'll be going home a lot happier and uh, hopefully it's not so long we beat them again. Neil Smith, congratulations, thank you very much. No worries.